Right, today we are playing a long, long way from home from uh, by Foreigner. All right, so basically this song has three different sections. We've got an intro, which is uh, the same as the verse, and then we've got a chorus, and we've got a solo section. All right, so to start off, uh, we're in standard tuning, um, and the first thing we are going to play is a D power chord, so that's on the fifth fret of the A string. So it's going to be 5 and then 7, 7. So uh, just those three strings, strings 5, 4, 3. And we're going to palm mute this as well. So put your palm on the bridge. And we're going to do all down strums for this intro verse section. So basically, we're going to play this for uh, two measures, for this D minor. So it's going to be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. and we're going to switch down to a C power chord on the third fret of the fifth string. So it's going to be three, five, five. Do this for one measure. One and two and three and four and back to the D power chord. Switch to three, four, and back to the D. Okay, so um, I'll play that whole intro section one more time. So here we go. Uh, one, two, three, four. One and two, and three and four and two, two and three and four. Two, three, four. One, two, and back to D. Two, three, four. One, two, now to C. Two, three, back to D. Okay, so that's the whole intro and verse section. Okay, and so for the intro, um, it's pretty much just that. Um, but for the verse section, we are going to throw in this variation uh, where we are actually... We're removing our third finger on that fourth string, seventh fret. And we're letting, um, we're letting the fifth fret of the fourth string ring out instead. So... Um, he switches the pattern on this uh, pretty much throughout the whole song. So, um, uh, so you can kind of just um, pull uh, pull that off and push it back on. Kind of a good. Um, I think one of the ones that he does is one and two and three and four and. So that's one, so one and two and three and four and. And then when he goes under the C chord, he just keeps that straight. But sometimes when he goes back up to that D chord, he has the uh, that finger off. So you get that uh, suspension sounding chord um, on that first hit of the D power chord. <clears throat> okay, and uh, in between both verses, uh, so there's we've got an intro, and then we've got a verse, and then there's this little interlude, and then another verse section. Um, and that interlude is just a, we are outlining power chords. <laughs> So we're outlining the C power chord, but we're just playing the third fret, fifth fret, fifth fret, fifth fret, fifth fret open, 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 sorry, that's open two, open two, back to D minor. So I'll play that in context, so it's one and two and three and four and two. Anticipate that D power chord going back in the next verse. So one more time. Ready, go. Oh, 
Okay, and so that's uh, that leads us into the next verse. <laughs> Right, and so now we're into the chorus section. And so uh, we're gonna be playing more bar chords here. So we are gonna start with an F power chord. And this is going to be um, two, three, four, one, two, and then we switch to a C for three hits. Okay, so let me play it one more time. So one, two, three, four, one, two, four, three, four, and one, and then we land on a G power chord, so that's the sixth fret, sorry, the third fret on the sixth string. We hold that out for one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then we play a quick passing A, open A power chord. And then we go to a B flat power chord, so that's, so open. E flat power chord. Back to the F power chord. We're going to do those three up hits, so three on the off beats, so to a G power chord. And then we're going to play this A chord. So we're going to play this A chord with an extra note on top. It's going to be an F, um, so, so that's the first fret on the first string. So you need to use your second, third, and fourth finger. Add your first finger on that first string, first fret. That's a funky sounding chord. That's uh, um, an augmented major chord. Uh, it's got some real tension. And that leads us back to our D power chord. So let me play that whole chorus section for you. So we're going to start on the F power chord. So one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. And three, four. Okay, and so now we go back into our intro so and he keeps it pretty straight for this first time through and then the second time he starts throwing this variation in and then at the end he throws in this um, power chord movement which is the same thing as the interlude between uh, verse one and verse two. Except we're not um, arpeggiating those uh, chords out. We're just um, gonna go ahead and play them, so. So one and two and three and four and one. And then we're back into our next verse. And then we go to another chorus. Um, and then we get to the solo section. So coming out of the, um, so here, let me play this, the solo section for you. So this is, uh, I got a kind of a complicated, tricky part. Um, we're gonna start with this power chord. Kind of doing a Chuck Berry style thing. So that's starting on the sixth fret of the sixth string and then the uh, eighth fret of the fifth string. So we're, we're adding this pinky on to the 10th fret of that fifth string. And we're gonna, we're gonna play this uh, riff way up here. So this part up here is gonna be on the 14th fret. So we're using the third and fourth string and we're going 14th fret to 15th fret. So just um, those two strings, third and fourth string on the 14th to the 15th fret. You can just slide that up. I'm picking it as well. And then we're going to go to the uh, the second and third string on the 14th fret 
to the 15th fret again. So, so the whole thing goes like this. One, and two, and four. And then we go to a D power chord. We've got a leading in, uh, leading power chord, uh, this A power chord on the fifth fret. Okay, and then the, um, so we do that twice, but the second time after this riff, we go down to a G power chord, to an A power chord. So G for one measure, one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four. Okay, so let me play that whole solo section for you. So here we go, a one, two, ready, go. back into our intro uh, verse. Okay, in this last intro verse part, um, I'll go ahead and play it. So it goes like this. He starts with those variations right off on this third time through that. So we've got that. Same power chord movement from the third fret, first fret, open, open, back to D minor. Uh, before we get into the last verse where we start singing. So that, that part was all the um, sort of interlude before we start singing again. And we're going to keep doing that um, throughout the next uh, the verse. So we're going to do one, two, three, four. that three times total. And here's the uh, second time. Last time we're going to do it. And then we're going to add this last part in. It's going to be first fret, fifth string power chord, open, A power chord, G, so sixth string power chord, down to fifth string. And we're going to end on a D major chord. So that last section goes like this. All right, and that's the whole song. Hope you enjoyed.